Today we're going to visit an old friend, Charlie. He's a good-natured, easy-going fellow, and everybody is welcome in his house, even the pigs and chickens. That's why he's known as Careless Charlie. Ah, here's another guest who visits Charlie at Needle Guy, Miss Fly. Now, Charlie wouldn't think of hurting Miss Fly. He says, she's a cheerful little thing, and besides, she doesn't eat very much. Then, there's another of Charlie's visitors. Uh, just a moment. Oh, yes, here he is. It's Mr. Louse. But Charlie wouldn't hurt Mr. Louse, either. He says, he gives me lots of good exercise. Then, when night comes, and it's time to go to bed, there's still another visitor, Miss Mosquito. Charlie is rather fond of Miss Mosquito. She's good company, he says. And her humming helps me to sleep. But just a moment there, Charlie. Do you realize that these three visitors are not your friends? Yes. The fly and the louse and the mosquito are your enemies. They can bring you sickness and suffering, and even death. Oh, you say, such little creatures couldn't possibly hurt you. Well, if you knew more about these little creatures, but here, suppose we make you small, so you can see them as they really are. There. Now, Charlie, take a look at your visitor. Uh -huh. They don't look very funny now, do they? No, indeed. They're ugly, vicious-looking creatures. Take Miss Fly there, for instance. Why, she is one of the world's great disease carriers. And the sad part is that you, Charlie, help her. For your yard is full of filth and garbage giving her a perfect place to live and breathe. And you have neighbors who help her, too. For they have no latrine and leave their waste in the field. Now, this waste is often full of microbes, the tiny creatures that cause sickness. But Miss Fly is very fond of filth. She walks around in it. And soon her legs are covered with filth and the deadly microbes. Then she flies back to your home. Since you leave your food uncovered, she walks all over it. And remember, wherever she walks, she leaves tracks of filth full of microbes. So when you eat the food, Charlie, you will eat the microbes, too. And unless you are very lucky, soon you will be a very sick man indeed. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Miss Fly carries disease, Charlie. How do you like her now? Ah, uh -uh, just a minute. You can attend to Miss Fly later. First, let me tell you about Miss Mosquito. For you see, she is no ordinary mosquito. She is the mosquito that spreads the deadly malaria. And it's partly your fault, Charlie. For there are swamps around your house where she can live and raise her children. When night comes and she is hungry, then she sets out to do her dirty work. One of your neighbors is sick with malaria. He is so weak he cannot even raise a hand to strike the mosquito. So she digs through his skin and feeds on his blood. But as she drinks his blood, she also drinks the microbes of malaria. Later, when she is again hungry, she will come back to your home and settle down on you for another good meal. But 
As she pierces your skin, she will put the sick man's microbes into your blood. And though you may not die from it, soon you will shiver and shake with the fevers of malaria. And all because of one malaria mosquito. Oh, Charlie, don't bother her yet. You must still learn something about Mr. Louts. He is the most dangerous of the lot. When Mr. Louse brings sickness to people, it may be the end, for he carries typhus. And how does he do this? Well, remember your neighbor who was sick with typhus? He was a very careless man who never washed his clothes or bathed his body. But Mr. Louse likes dirt, so he was very happy there. Whenever he was hungry, he would drink the man's blood which, of course, was full of the microbes of typhus. Then one day you visited your sick neighbor, and while you sat by the bed, Mr. Louse decided he would rather live on your body. So he crawled over onto your hand and was very, very happy, for you were the dirtiest man he had ever seen. Now, Charlie, if he bites you and you scratch, the microbes of typhus will enter your body. And soon you will not only be very, very sick, but you may be very, very dead. Yes, when Mr. Louse brings typhus, it's usually the end. Hey, Charlie, come back. You're too small to fight those creatures. Hurry, this way, Charlie. Here, hang on. We'll make you big again. There. Well, Charlie, you certainly fix those villains. But how are you going to keep other flies, mosquitoes, and lice away? Ah, Charlie's got the idea. See? He's cleaning up the yard and burying the filth so that the flies will have no place to live and breathe. And now watch him. Uh -huh. He's draining the swamp. Now the mosquitoes have lost their breeding place. But where has Charlie gone? Aha, uh -huh. he's spoiling his clothes. That will fix Mr. Louse and his evil brood. But what's this? Why, Charlie's taking a bath. Well, you certainly changed your habit. From now on, we'll have to call you careful, Charlie. And you'll be a healthier and happier man. So long, Charlie.